Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to brew with the AeroPress Go. This is the much anticipated release from AeroPress since their original version came out in 2005. Now the Go is a more compact, smaller version of this without compromising on the great features of an AeroPress, being extremely durable, easy to travel and brew delicious coffee with, and it's simple to keep clean. The Go packs away inside of its own cup, and this holds around 380 mils of water, and has a soft silicon lid too that keeps all the accessories from falling out. We have a bean scoop, a foldable stirrer, and a paper filter holder, and this will fit around 20 or so paper filters in it, ready for when you go traveling. With this, there are also 350 micro paper filters included in the box. So let's get brewing with the AeroPress Go. Today, I'm using the Rhino Wears hand grinder and a Brewista kettle. And I've got my water set for 94 degrees C, but that's about 30 seconds off the boil. First up, what you wanna do is grab your bean scoop, and we're going for 16 grams of coffee, which is about level with the top of the bean scoop here. And I'm gonna be grinding to a medium fine coarseness, which is a little finer than brown sugar crystals. Now there are two methods to be brewing with the AeroPress. There's the traditional method and the inverted method. And we'll be using the inverted method today. First, what you wanna do is rinse your paper filter and this will remove any of that paper filter taste. Then add your grinds into the chamber. and pre-infuse with about twice as much water as there was grinds. So I'm adding 30 mils of water in here. We'll give it a gentle agitation and let it sit for about 30 seconds. Now the reason we pre-infuse is to ensure that all those grounds are fully saturated before we add all the rest of our water in. Once that 30 seconds is up, fill your AeroPress all the way up to the top, and this will give you around 220 mils of water for a brew ratio of one to 14. Giving it a gentle stir. We'll then place the filter cap on and let it brew for one minute. Now the AeroPress Go would make a great coffee brewer for the home or office and an ideal brewer to take on the road or away camping. After that minute is up, you just wanna press down on the brew chamber and remove any of that air that's stuck inside the brew chamber. That way when we do flip, we don't have any grinds high and dry on the press. And when pressing, it should take about 30 seconds to complete the full press for a brew time of two minutes to two minutes 30. You'll hear a gentle hiss at the end. That means we're done. You'll end up with a delicious brew that you can drink black or enjoy topped up with some milk. Delicious. In cleaning the unit, you simply unscrew the filter lid, pop out the wet grinds, and with a quick rinse, you'll be good to go again or place it away dry for storage. And there you have it, the latest from AeroPress, the AeroPress Go. If you have any questions on the AeroPress Go, then throw them down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified when we bring out videos just like this one each week. Yeah, still good. So until next time, thanks for watching.